Hey, Ryan Drew from Media Ward here with a brand new found footage movie that just hit the UK stores called The Asylum Tapes or Greystone Park in the US. I'm going to talk about the storyline, I'm going to talk about the characters, the genre, and anything else that's important to mention when talking about this movie. So let's talk about The Asylum Tapes. Eyes is to leave the dead alone. What if the dead don't leave us alone? Then what do we do? Lobotomies, electric shock therapy, hot and cold pressure baths. Greystone started all these crazy treatments. You never wanted to go to a haunted house before? In this typical found footage style, a bunch of friends decide to go into this kind of rundown, abandoned psychiatric hospital to explore the goings on went on down there. You know, we're filled with like nasty uh, mental institution patients, so radiative therapy, you know, a typical nut house would, insane asylum would. And uh, there's been reports of haunted activity down there. And uh, they go in to try and prove, you know, that something is going on down there. And uh, to also try and prove their friends that there is a supernatural um, ghostly world around us, you know, the ghosts do exist in a sense. So once they go inside, uh, some stuff starts to happen, of course, and uh, they soon discover they are not alone. Mmm, doesn't that sound familiar? But to be fair, this movie does something very original and very creative with a very overused uh, kind of plot cliche of a haunted house building, you know, with people going in. Uh, many different films have tried to tackle it in very different ways, uh, give it a very different approach. But this movie does something very original and very uh, sinister and very uh, psychological uh, with the idea of a haunted house or a haunted kind of building in a sense. Uh, this movie I thought was uh, very, very well done, uh, well executed, well directed, well acted and a fantastic idea of a storyline. Um, this is a movie which um, I was still thinking about on my way home. Uh, this movie has just been released today in the UK. Uh, it's the 27th of August. Been released the first time in the UK. Um, US don't get it until later on this year. And uh, me and my friend watched it. No expectations. I think I watched the trailer once. Um, you know, it seemed interesting. You know, I wasn't going crazy for it kind of thing. And um, I really enjoyed it. And I really liked what happened in the movie uh, in terms of plot points and acting and uh, direction and visual work, I suppose. And locations. It's fantastic also. So, so many things to talk about. Some little time. Uh, Storyline wise. Okay. Um, the storyline, I can't pin down, bang on. I can't really give too much away uh, for, you know, for spoiler reasons. Uh, it's not one of those movies which you can say it's bang like that. You know, you have to watch it more than once. And I think I'm going to be watching it again soon. I think I'm going to go and buy it soon, to be perfectly honest. Um, basically, I've said, of course, a couple of friends going to a rundown mental institution, which uh, they actually do. Uh, the actual sets and the locations within this movie are actually a physical real uh, mental institution. That's abandoned, abandoned. Quite impressive. Um, I like the sets. I like the variety of locations and the uh, the look and the feel of it. It feels very real. And um, it's done in a very uh, clever way. We should what? make a movie about this, too. What do you think, Sean? Do ghosts exist? Only one way to find out. Now, uh, the storyline, I thought, was absolutely fantastic. Um, not, you know absolutely insane well done kind of thing you know um it's just very it's very cleverly done for a found footage movie you know not many found footage movies can do something original with the same kind of plot and script over again uh grave encounters did something very original with that idea and this one does something very unique also in taking the ideas of a kind of the shadow work and stuff now of course uh, the actual, it's, a, it's basically a kind of like horror, psychological thriller in a sense, you know, it's not gore or anything, uh, some stuff does happen, but I wouldn't call it massively scary, I'll call it creepy, I'll call it sinister, I'll call it uh, intriguing, I sense. I, those are the type of words I want to use with this movie. Um, definitely something to keep your eyes on for sure. <laughs> um, I like the, the actual creepiness of it, I like, I like the vibe of it, um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of great kind of uh, lookouts kind of thing. If you're a found footage fan, you're going to absolutely love this movie. Um, a typical found footage movie is you have to look out for things, you know. There's lots of foreshadowings, there's lots of things that are going on in the background kind of thing, and there's a lot of shadow work. There's a lot of people which um, you just, you, you, you start to look at, and you're like, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, and they, and they don't notice it, you know. It's not spoon-fed, you have to look for it, and once you do, it's a good little payoff because it, it Cuts back later into the movie, and that's why it's worth watching a second time round just to look for those kind of things a second time. Um, Storyline I thought was very well done, very intriguing. Um, it's a very um, interesting idea, I have to admit, the whole idea of the kind of this uh, the shadows, a part of the uh, 
but basically there's a lot a lot of stuff about it happened in this mental institution and uh basically the the plot story of it, of it the kind of the brief aspect of it is the uh the, all the people that suffered there you know the the mental institution patients part of their soul still remains within that building you know part of that shadow their kind of essence went into that building and they feed off a kind of a negativity energy their fears the uh the uh, what uh, kind of drives us and it's um, very impressive very well done and it gets a bit more intense a bit more um, uh, a bit more real I suppose later on in the movie uh, very impressive work I have to admit. One thing I'm very happy about is the fact that there's only one jump scare in this entire movie most fan footage of movies will be like this ah! 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 scared scared I'm very grateful as a actual horror fan, there's very little of that in this entire movie. Uh, the scares and the actual creepiness of it is very uh, real, it, it feels very honest, it feels very original, and it's very refreshing to see that within a movie, thank you. You know, I'm sick and tired of, you know, paranormal activity, always a door opening, always a door closing. Scary! No, no, there's none of that in this movie. That's why I think a lot of people get put off with those uh, typical fan footage movies. This is definitely one of the best ones, well, definitely one of the good ones. Uh, something that I would definitely recommend to people to go and watch. The director slash writer slash actor on this movie is Sean Stone. Now, in case you don't know who that person is, he is the son of Oliver Stone. And in case you don't know who that person is, take a look at this. It's about the game. You're on me every night like a pack of wolves because you can't stand facing what you are and what you've made. Yes, the world is a terrible place. Yes, cancer and garbage disposals will get you. Yes, a war is coming. Yes, the world is shut to hell and you're all goners. Everything's screwed up and you like it that way, don't you? Sean Stone's first directing work, uh, he co-wrote this movie, he starred in this movie also. I think he did a really fantastic job in pulling off a really fantastic uh, found footage movie. He must have been watching, he must be a fan of the genre, and he does something very original. And it's a shame that he didn't get an actual cinema release. Um, I think a couple of independent festivals this movie would have done pretty well at, but it hasn't got a worldwide release yet. Uh, pretty disappointing in that fact. He deserves a lot more credit than it's uh, been giving lately. Um, IMDb, I've uh, so far I've given it 3.4. That's pretty disappointing. I deserves way more than that. Maybe as time go by, it'll get a little bit more, maybe more noticeable. But I think it's a, it did a really great job um, as writing of this movie, uh, based co-wrote of this movie. Uh, I think his direction work is really fantastic also. And he, of course, he starred in the movie. Which is great because um, his acting work was actually pretty decent. Uh, he's done plenty of movies in the past, you know, with his father being involved in past movies. So his acting is absolutely fantastic. I do not mind his acting in the slightest. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's very amateurish in a sense because of a lot of the, a lot of the actors are in this movie. I can tell they are friends or something. Uh, they must be his friends or someone that he knows that he's worked with in previous movies. But um, the acting, I thought, was very well done. It was very believable, very real. They all had personalities. They weren't flat or anything. And there was points in the movie which they actually started to freak out. And uh, once they got like a kind of attacked by these kind of uh, paranormal uh, kind of entities in a sense, um, they actually was believable for wow, yeah, they're actually getting attacked, you know. And there's points where they're kind of like um, freaking out or kind of just losing it in a sense. And I, th I felt that was believable. I thought, wow, yeah, you are freaking out, you know. It's nice to see actual kind of. Uh, Amateur actors uh, do some roles in a fan footage movie that actually is generally quite believable because you get a lot of movies which is just like meh, meh, just could get killed off already kind of thing, you know. But uh, yeah, the, the cast I had no problem with. Um, even Oliver Stone, of course, um, actually was in the movie. I thought that was actually quite clever. He's at the start of the movie. Uh, really nice to see him on screen, you know. It's uh, of course, you know, be, being a father, you know, you're going to support your you're child, aren't you? So really good stuff. Uh, so what else is there? Uh, genre, I felt it stayed true to the found footage genre. Uh, it delivered something uh, very original, very fresh. Uh, found footage fans are definitely love it. And I think people that don't like found footage movies will enjoy this movie also. It's something that will keep you uh, intrigued and want you to kind of think about and talk about it. Even at the end of the movie, you still want to go like, 
I want to talk about this movie. You kind of think, you know, it's that one of those things that you need to watch again to kind of uh, uh, fully grasp everything. It's one of those movies that you want to talk about, film movies you want to kind of praise and love and kind of think. You know, um, it's definitely one of the more intriguing ones. And I like it when movies do that, you know. Uh, some movies you can just watch it once and then kind of forget about it, or just, you know, you just forget about it instantly or watch something else. I used to freeze people on the dead. sick mind, doesn't it? <laughs> Overall, I thought this is a solid found footage movie that offers a very intriguing storyline on a very overused idea of a haunted house uh, or sane asylum type thing. I thought the acting was very believable and uh, no characters annoyed me. Uh, I liked all the characters that were presented in the movie. I thought the direction work was very... Uh, very fantastic for a first feature movie that um, Sean Stone has done. Uh, he did a very, very fantastic job in getting the sets right. I thought the location was great. I thought the uh, scares and the creepiness was right. Uh, psychological aspects were great as also in this movie. Uh, some very intriguing aspects which to appreciate and uh, to grip yourself into this movie. Um, and I felt it stayed true to the found footage genre. I think people who like found footage movies like this movie, and people who don't like this found footage movies, I think they like this movie also. So on my new ranking system, I'm going to give the Asylum Tapes a stamp of approval. If you're convinced by the review completely, go and rent it. It's only just come out today on the UK stores on DVD. Uh, go and rent it, see what you think. Uh, I would definitely recommend a purchase. Uh, it's definitely worth for keeping. It's definitely worth watching again, just to kind of get those extra elements to it. So that's been my review on the Asylum Tapes or Greystone Park in the US. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, review. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to know about the movie or any inquiries, uh, ask away in the comments down below. Have you seen the movie? What do you think? In the meantime, it's Andrew from Media from Game TV. Signing out.